Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'd like to show you what I believe to be the best site for finding images that you can reuse in your creative works, whether it's a blog post, uh, making videos that you maybe need a background for, or, or anything else of that nature where you just may need a photography element of it, and you might not have the time, resources, or possibly even skill to go ahead and take the same pictures yourself. And that site is, in fact, pixabay.com. Uh, now, uh, I did do quite a bit of research looking for these kinds of things, um, having done some blogging myself. And uh, across my looking around, I finally came to Pixabay, and I've been using them a lot. And there's really two reasons behind that. Uh, the first is that, of course, as you see advertised, they got like 380,000 free photos. And there's a lot of stuff here, and they're mostly high quality stuff. Like uh, a lot of these things actually taken by professional photographers or uh, amateurs who come very close to that. Like you just search animals, you got all of this stuff, it searches by popularity, and everything here, except for those um, uh, Shutterstock advertisements at the top, are free images to download. Now these links to Shutterstock, um, those are paid images, uh, but they're still stock photos. The difference is Pixabay, um, in most cases, will give you a CCO public domain uh, license. Um, it's just the Creative Commons version, I guess you could say, of public domain, but really it means exactly the same thing. It means you download this image, you don't even necessarily have to give the author credit. Um, you can just use this wherever you want for whatever purposes you want, free for commercial use, no attribution required. Uh, yeah, that puts it pretty well right there. And there's just so much stuff here, like, um, for instance, we do tutorials on the channel, so I could do a search for, like, Linux, and uh, you might not have that much that's like very specific to s uh, certain programs, especially copyrighted ones like uh, video games like Hearthstone. Um, but this is a pretty cool uh, image that could kind of represent um, Linux, and it's one I recently used in some of my work. Uh, but let's see, like what else? Um, old time photo, that could be interesting. Of course, old time photo, you can find a lot of that in the public domain since they're usually from old times. Okay, so that might be one category there's not too much of. Um, but generally, generally you get what you want. Like, especially if it's a broad category, computer, 3,143 images. That's a lot to work with, and it's all pretty much public domain. Uh, you can go to new photos too, although uh, generally you might want to use popular because the popular ones are usually better. Um, yeah, not too much else to say about it. It's just, it's a really good looking website. It works really well. If you log in, um, you can literally just go in and download. Uh, the, the difference is you can download normally, um, but you have to be logged in to download the highest resolution photos. You don't have to pay anything, um, but to download a image when you're not logged in, like this right now, you do have to put in a CAPTCHA. You log in, the capture is gone, and uh, of course with this site you can also upload your own photos if you want to contribute to the Pixabay community. And um, I believe that some authors do take uh, donations. They'll have like a little thing that says, uh, like, buy me a coffee or something like that. But aside from that, oh, maybe this is it right there. Like, uh, click and buy him a coffee. Aside from that, yeah, it's just you get a lot of photos. There's a lot of things out there. Um, yeah, okay, so that would be for, you know, if you want to support the website or support the uh, photographer. Just, it's a really good resource. There's so many photos you can choose from. Uh, I don't want to ramble too much, but out of all the ones out there, and I did look through a couple dozen, I think Pixabay is the best. So there you go. I hope if you're making videos, you're making blog posts, um, whatever you're doing, maybe you're making podcasts and you need an image for the background, or uh, YouTube thumbnails, that's another great example, uh, that maybe Pixabay can help you out. And, um, you know, you don't have to give attribution, but of course, they're, it's ne they're never going to complain about it, so it's up to you. Anyway, I've been Chris. I hope you found this a little bit helpful, um, especially if you are the type of person who's looking to create web content or anything along those lines. Um, if you do want to support uh, my Patreon, you can go to patreon.com slash christutorials. Um, would be much appreciated. And uh, aside from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.